Right, so, off we go. Translation. Following my conversation with Luke earlier... Uh, no. Uh, go on. Following my conversation with Luke earlier... Say it again. No. So we've got three followings. We've got following adjective, as in la semaine suivante, or, you know, l'homme suivant. We've got following that, ensuite, or we've got following, and then a noun is sweet a. Sweet a. So oh. following my yeah yeah so following my so conversation. So suivant just be like an adjective then. That's it, or by definition a gerund. So in following you know en suivant le, you know whatever okay. as well, but mainly yes, mainly yes an adjective. So um, yes, yeah, so following my conversation with Luke earlier. As okay. Sweet no sweet a. Sweet a. Yeah. Sweet a my conversation with Luke to. Earlier. Pluto. Lovely. Uh, 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 it's, uh, what shall I give you? Um, I want him to know that I'm making progress. I want him to know that I'm making progress. Je veux qu'il sache que je fais de progrès. Good. Now, je fais de progrès or what's the sound I need? Je fais du progrès. Je fais du progrès. Je progresse or je fais du progrès. Good. Okay. Um, uh, I'm really motivated. Um, I'm motivated that um, we've found uh, a solution. Je suis hyper motivé qu'on a trouvé une solution. Great. Now, je suis hyper motivé qu'on a is fine. How do we have said je suis hyper motivé que? What would that have given me? I'm happy that we found a solution. Uh, je suis hyper motivé que nous avons trouvé une If solution. If it was hyper motivé que, it would bring up what? Motivé is a what? Oh, it, well, motivé is an adjective. Yeah, but what? It's an emotion, isn't it? So don't just be sub. Uh, yeah, so yeah, don't yeah. just be subjunctive ready. So it would be qu'on ait trouvé. Lovely, or qu'on ait trouvé. Don't stress the subjunctive academically. Don't be like, did you see what I did there, Luke, in the middle? Je suis, ouais, je suis motivé qu'on ait. For you, the subjunctive is like, I'm in the top percent of people that speak French who are foreign. For the French, <laughs> for us, it's like, just fucking sentence. So don't stress auxiliaries. We don't do it in French. So where je suis super motivé qu'on est, or je suis hyper motivé. Do it for me with nous. I'm happy that we found. Je suis hyper motivé que nous. Uh, je suis hyper motivé que nous ayons trouvé. Link. Link. Que nous ayons trouvé une solution. Clear, clear it up. Une solution. General word for French. Take no. the higher stuff higher. Take the lower stuff lower. Une solution. Okay, yeah, une solution. Great. Okay. Um, that's going to allow me to spend some time in France. Which, which is going to allow me to spend some time in France. Ça va me permettre... Un Lovely. Or linking it from the previous thing. Qui va me... Yeah, which is going to allow me... Qui va me... Okay, wait, what was the full thing? Sorry. So, so, so I'm glad we found a solution which is going to allow me to spend time in France. Uh, qui, va me, qui va me permettre... Blow, 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 blow. Good, so clean it up. You've just come across with an uh. Uh. So basically, there are some spaces in your voice that you might as well just say, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to use that. You're never going to use uh. You're never going to have an Anglophone, English or American uh. You're either going to have eh, you're either going to have uh, yeah, like duh, but you're not going to have uh. So, uh, donc, que nous ayons trouvé une solution qui va... Me. me. Now give me permit. Pe. No. Pe. I've told you Pe. that place doesn't exist in French. Permettre. Permettre. So ah. this place in your throat doesn't exist in French. Yeah. Permettre qui va me permettre. C'est me per. So what did I say a few seconds ago? Qu'est-ce que j'ai dit il y a quelques secondes? You need to take the higher stuff higher, the lower stuff lower. Okay. Qui va me permettre? Permettre. Careful, careful. Not permettre. It's not permanent. Permettre. Qui va me permettre? Yeah. Permettre. Yeah. Say I allow him. I allow him. From that verb. Je le permets. Uh, b -b 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 permettre à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. Je, je lui permets. That's it. Lovely. Je lui permets. So basically, go as fast as you want. You're going, ooh, yeah. Je lui permets. Go on. Je lui permets. Good. More breath and faster. Fast as fuck. Go on. Je, je lui permets. permets. That's it. 
qui lui permet. So basically, as a general rule in English, when you speak quickly, you 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 compromise the quality of the the um the vowels. In French, no, go as fast as you want, but the vowels still there. You're still hitting ching 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 ching. It's like it's like um baseball. You're running around, you're hitting each of those bases. Yeah, you've got to hit each of those vowels. Good, lovely. Which is going to allow me to spend some time in France. Qui va me per? I can do this. Qui va me permettre de passer de temps en France? De passer de temps. Clean it up. Qui va me du temps? Du temps. Lovely in France. En France. Lovely. Okay. Um, I'm really excited. Um, j'ai beaucoup hâte. Lovely. J'ai beaucoup hâte. Oh, je suis très enthousiaste. Enthousiaste. Yeah. Okay. Excité. Is not as used as it is in for various reasons as it is in in um you know and people always go oh it's sexual it means I'm sexually excited not always you know I mean I could say that about like you know a little boy I could say you know uh, you know t'es trop excité calme-toi that could be like you're too worked up so it's kind of a little bit physical as well so it doesn't I mean this child is not sexually excited to be specific you know so um good so je suis très enthousiaste j'ai hâte okay um or how you say I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know. Je l'attends avec impatience. I'm waiting for it with impatience. Yep. No. I'm looking forward to seeing you. So if it's looking forward to a verb, use what you've just used. So, j'ai hâte de te voir. If it's looking forward to a noun, so I'm looking forward to my birthday, j'attends avec impatience. J'attends mon anniversaire avec impatience. You will use the wait with impatience, okay? Do you, do you see what I mean? If it's a verb, it so will... So, j'attends noun avec impatience. Or the other one, j'attends avec impatience, j'attends ton arrivée. J'attends avec impatience ton arrivée. Um, non, non, mais je l'attends avec, impa avec impatience ton arrivée. Yeah, I'd separate it personally, but I've heard it kept together. Um, okay. Good. Um, it's like phrasal in English. Put on your socks, take off your socks, take your socks off, take your socks, put your socks on kind of thing. Yeah? Good. Um, good. Excellent. Um, what happened was very interesting. What happened was very interesting. No, passé? this what happened is not a question. You're saying what happened was very interesting. Que s'est passé? No, what do I use for what when it's not a question? Uh, I mean, you can right. say quoi. Que... No, no, no. I like what Ian's wearing. Oh, ce que. Great. Ce que. So, ce que is generally what when it's not a question. Ce que. However... Sucre will then be followed by a subject, person, name, somebody doing a verb. What do we use instead of sucre? Very similar. What do we use instead of sucre when we're going straight into a verb? Not sucre, sucre. but sucre. sucre. Great. So you will become familiar with certain verbs using this. So, sucre. so give me what happened. Uh, ce qui s'est passé. Lovely. Say that a few times so that's in your mouth. Ce qui s'est passé. Good. Ce qui s'est passé. Good. And actually, for the more advanced amongst us, even if you're asking the specific question, oh my God, what's happening? It wouldn't be qu'est-ce que se passe anyway. It would be qu'est-ce right. qui se passe. It would still have the ce qui in it. Because, it, the verb. because it goes into the verb, exactly. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Rami, qu'est-ce que se passe? Very common error. Okay. So, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu uh, ce qui s'est passé? Uh, lovely. Uh, um, so, um, when I was younger... Uh, uh, a French guy came to stay with us. Quand j'étais petit, Yeah, or quand j'étais plus jeune. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, quand j'étais plus jeune, un homme français... Do I need et... homme? What's that? Do I need homme? No, not really. Yeah. You say en français. En français, yeah, okay. How to say a French woman in two words? Une française. Perfect. So, quand j'étais plus jeune, un français came to stay with us. Uh, Venez. Came Venez. as an action. Venez. Venez. No. Came as an action. Oh, yes. Jesus Christ. Est venu. Good. Est venu. Est venu. Lovely. Venu. Came to stay with us. Venu de rester no. chez nous. No. I did a video the other day, which I strongly recommend you watch. It seems really simplistic, but it's actually quite got some gems in it. How do you say I'm going to go and wash? Uh, je vais aller... Well done. No need for and. Same here. He came to stay with us. Il est venu rester. And even in English, we haven't got a preposition, but you felt the need to pop on in. So, il est venu rester. Okay. So, um, uh, so he came to stay with us. Il, 
il est venu, il est venu rester chez nous. Good. That went well. Uh, ça s'est passé bien. Adverbs go after verb number one. Ça s'est bien passé. Ok, good. Ça s'est bien passé. Um, we've stayed in contact. Uh, ok. Is this the verb that looks like the obvious choice, but is probably not? On a, how on a you, on how you doubt me? I want you to use <laughs> reste, and I want you to say we stayed in contact. Okay. On a, on a reste on is reste your... a verb which uses avoir? What's that? Is reste a verb which uses avoir? How would you say I stayed? Oh. Je so, suis resté for some curious reason because you're doing jack shit with it. Resté is an extra verb. So we stayed in contact. On est resté en contact au contact. Lovely en contact. And I'd like you from the beginning to do that as a nice line or smoothly together. On est resté en contact. Lovely. Okay. With him. Avec lui. So recently I've just realized. Uh, récemment. Récemment, récemment. Récemment, mm -hmm. je viens de rendre compte. The, that verb is reflexive. Ah, je viens, je viens. Je viens, moi. viens. This is your verb. verb. Je viens. I can't, I can't do it the way you did it. Je viens. What do I want? Je, je viens. Je viens. Nice. From shit to gorgeous. Forget zero to sixty. From shit to gorgeous. I've just realized. Je viens de. Don't pour, don't give me slices of cake. Je viens de me rend, go on, make it all smooth. Je viens de me rendre compte. Lovely, you're giving me a linear organic thing. You're giving me an organic linear thing. You're not, those two sentences are identical apart from the word order. You're not giving me a series of little bangs. You're, moi je viens de me rendre compte. Or you can even say je viens de m'en rendre compte if it was kind of like all done and dusted there, okay? Um, what was I saying? Um, uh, um, I'm going to be able to make the most of it. Uh, okay, I don't know. The I'm going second. to be able to profit from it. Okay. Uh, je vais être capable. Not necessary. Je vais pouvoir. Yeah. Hein? Je vais pouvoir en profiter. Lovely. Je vais pouvoir en profiter. Okay. Um, he's. Uh, based in the southwest of France. Il est basé au sud-ouest de la France. Vowels, clean them up. Yeah. Il est basé au sud-ouest de la France. De la France. So basically, de de, so in my whole, stuff can go higher or lower. De. Is that a low sound or a high sound? That's uh, a low sound. So can I take it lower? De. De. By lower, I mean richer. Yeah? And higher, I mean sharper. De. La. Is that a high sound? High, high sound? Is that a high sound or a low sound? La. High sound. Good, so take it sharper. De la. De la France. De la France. De la France. Up, down, up, down, up, down. De la France. De la France. Now, de do la it without moving your mouth la. as much as I did. Just go, de la France. Do it on a big breath. De la, de la France. De la, de la France. That de part la. of the movement, that part of the movement, that part of the movement. De la France. De la France. You're thinking, you're still thinking de la France. You're thinking individual sounds. De, de is a journey. La is a journey. France is a journey. De la France. De la France. Yes. Much better, young man. Brilliant. Okay. Um, good. Um, eventually, my girlfriend's going to come and join me. Uh, eventuellement, ma copine... Me... Good. So you were, in a, you were driving along in your car and then you suddenly stopped. So eventuellement, yeah, ma like copine... Yes. Yeah. Because you're first. trying to think. Good. So keep driving while you're thinking. Drive more while you're thinking. Eventuellement, ma copine. Stay on it. Go. My girlfriend's going to come and join us. Eventuellement, ma copine va me rejoindre. Lovely. Now uh, it's all getting a bit mouthy. Va me rejoindre. Eventuellement, ma copine va venir me rejoindre. Keep it all like blowy. Go on. Eventuellement, ma copine va venir me rejoindre. Ah. Okay. That was lovely. Now, you, the problem is that you're quite quick with your mouth. And people who are quite quick with their mouth basically trade on that. Don't trade on it. Look at my mouth. I'm going to keep it as small as I can. Eventuellement, ma copine va venir me rejoindre. It's not going massive. Eventuellement, ma copine va venir me rejoindre. Okay? So, not that you need to speak like that, but you don't, you don't need this every time. Good? Okay? Um, that will do us some good. That will do us some good. Uh... 
ça lui fera bon. Ça lui fera du bien, du bien. Du bien.